Gun game is actually in Cold War Zombies. If you come on over to Onslaught and then scroll down to Mystery Munitions, start with a random weapon. Every surge, your weapon is replaced with another random weapon that scales up with the difficulty. All right, so here we go. We're spawning in and it gives us a random weapon. As you can see, it scrolls through. What are we going to get? Uh, we got the cane. Oh, that is... um. I mean, it's fine. It's probably all right. We have to go through all the surges. If you never played Onslaught, essentially a surge is just like a round. But instead, as you see the orb power on the left, it increases with each kill we get until 100. And then it will just give, like end the round, basically. So we'll go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we got armor already. Okay, that's huge. I really like Onslaught. To be honest, this is one of the coolest game modes that Zombies has like ever added. And it sucks that it didn't release until a year after Cold War. So like when Vanguard just released. Because it's really enjoyable. But yeah, as you can see, surge done and the orb should like move around. Yeah, here we go. We've got to follow it. Map looks gorgeous, by the way, in this quality because I'm playing in like max graphics or whatever now. So here we go. It's going to roll our weapon again and we'll get... I love how it plays the mystery box noise. The E tool. Am I just going to get only melee weapons, man? <laughs> I'm being cursed right now. All right, what's up, dude? At least melee weapons in this game are pretty broken. It was really smooth playing with keyboard and mouse as well. Because normally I play with controller, but I'm trying to wean myself off of it. Hello, zombie. What are you doing? Trying to climb up there, bro? That ain't gonna work. Get off. <laughs> All right, surge done. Now we follow the orb again. Now, please, can I get a gun gun this time? Because that would be nice. I wonder if we swap weapons and we have our fists out, does it get rid of this or does it get rid of the other weapon? And we get the M82. Oh, great. Oh, and it doesn't. It swaps it out. We have an M82 versus a boss. Because, yeah, after you do two regular surges, you get, like, yep, a megaton. So this should be interesting. Well, I mean, we're doing a bit of damage. Okay, he's split already. Yeah, this gun isn't too bad. At least high damaging weapon, you know. Uh, if I can aim, that'd be great. Boom, bye-bye, you're gone. Oh, God, he started sprinting. Ah, go away. Can't aim for crap, dude. All right, get destroyed. And we got a free perk as well, which is nice. What did we get? Quick revive, all right. Yeah, this is pretty fun because after each surge, it will increase the gun's like damage somehow. Like it'll either increase the rarity of it or pack punch it or whatever. So you don't feel like you're being left behind with the damage that your gun's doing. So yeah, it's pretty enjoyable to do. All right, what are we going to get this time? Please be like an assault rifle. That would be nice. The marshals. Okay, you know, honestly, I can get down with this. These are some pretty badass guns, not going to lie. Oh, we leveled up. Nice, let's go. And the good thing is we do still have our bowie knife, of course. So like if we want, we could just like melee them all anyway. But might as well use the guns. It's only fair. So yeah, we'll just keep on going until we eventually go down. I don't know how many surges we're going to get. Normally I average like, I don't know, 20-ish. It depends on the map, really. I mean, if we're not going to get pack a punch for a while, this could be quite risky. Got a nice open area here, though, which is good. I've never played this map. It's called Miami. What are we getting this time? We're going to get the 1911. Okay, you know, it's actually not that bad in this game. And if we want, we can go over to apply blueprint and then put on one of our other blueprints. So we've got like, I don't know which one's better, really. But I guess we'll put this one on and boom, now we've got a customized version. So yeah, it's like a one shot, the 1911 is, because you don't start with it on Cold War, so it actually is pretty decent for damage. One thing that was a bit disappointing is the fact the 1911 doesn't turn into the Mustang and Sally when you pack a punch it. Like, especially since you have PhD flopper in this game. It's sad that you don't get to do that, but hey, it is what it is, man. All right, please give me a decent gun for when we have this boss, because... <laughs> I am uh, not going to be doing too well. I mean, it depends what it is, because you can either get a Mimic, you can get a Megaton, or you can get, uh, what is it, like the Mangler dude, whatever he's called. The Street Sweeper. All right, I'll take it. A shotgun. Pretty, pretty big. This is definitely like the worst shotgun in the game, but it's still, it's not bad. We got, ah, oh, Mangler. Okay, what's up, dude? I think you stood a chance. Oh, but the reload is so slow on this. Jesus, I'm actually going to be here all day. Look at how slow this reloads. Three, four, five six seven this has to be the slowest reloading gun in the entire game what is this <laughs> like i just want to kill him bro again like no one two three four oh and now he's sprinting after me oh cool it's not like i can get away or anything oh he got him <laughs> jesus that took ages right got a perk we got speed cola okay with well, this gun is pretty good but we're gonna get rid of it now anyway even with speed cola look at how slow this is 15 okay <laughs> Took long enough. 
10 seconds of reloading. Yeah, you get perks very slowly in this because you only get perks after each elite surge. So that's every like three. And if we go down, of course, we lose the perks. So yeah, it's not exactly great, but we got the carve. This is like what burst assault rifle, attack rifle or something. Yeah, here we go. Not bad. I don't think I've really ever used this weapon, but seems seems decent. I'm honestly quite a big fan of Cold War. I know it's like it's like slightly controversial for some people because yeah, it's a lot easier than the previous COD Zombies games, but I never thought it was bad at all. I just thought the weakest part of the game was the maps. Like, the maps didn't feel too original, you know. It was because they only had, like, two years to work on the game, so they wanted to focus more on the gameplay aspects, and in that regard, Cold War really succeeded. Because the gameplay in Cold War is just amazing. Game modes like this, Onslaught, probably the best game mode we've ever had for Zombies. And then you've got, like, Outbreak, which... Personally, I'm not really a huge fan. I mean, you could argue that's the best game mode because, you know, it has the highest player count of any Zombies game ever. But yeah, there's a lot of Ws that this game really had. The downsides were, you know, the long time between DLCs and overdoing the weapon balance, I think. So I'm pretty excited for what COD 2024 has to offer because it's going to have had three years of a life cycle, which means we should get a very solid Zombies game. It's not going to be like a Vanguard situation. Oh God, I'm going to have to use my Aether Shroud. <laughs> that was a bit close. Got this really tight area. Yeah, this one should be an elite surge. It just means we get an extra perk, which is good. Oh, it's going all the way over here. Jesus. Right, what's it going to be? We haven't had a mimic yet, so I imagine it's going to be that. And we got the tundra. Oh, of course, we get a sniper on this again. At least I'll apply a blueprint. Let's, let's do the disarmament. This is probably going to be that best one. Ah, it's a megaton. What's up, bro? Okay, this does a lot of damage. Yeah, he's split already. Started spawning in zombies on these rounds though, which is a little annoying because trying to aim on these guys. Oh, I've got to reload. Oh, give me the insta. All right, I'm just going to no scope you guys. If I can, if I can aim. Okay, let's be careful here. Oh. I am so bad at aiming with this sniper. Okay, there we go. It's fine. I'm a god. I'm a, I'm clean as hell. There we go. Jesus. Oh, we got napalm strike. Is that better than a sentry? Honestly, I don't know. But we got elemental pop. The only thing that's going to be scary is if we get an explosive weapon and we don't have PhD. Like, the fact they added PhD to this game is insane. Like, we were asking for it for so many years and they finally added it, but it's on the last DLC, like, three weeks before the next game releases. Like, okay, man. And we got... What is this? Is this the nail gun? I think it is. I've... Oh, it's Packet Punch, though, which is cool. But yeah, I have never used this before. It's... Uh, it seems okay. I mean, it is a nail gun. It has a lot of ammo in each clip, which is good. I do, I have to appreciate, you know, the Cold War Pack-a-Punch camo. It looks pretty nice. Oh my god, we got dogs as well. Oh, Jesus. We got, we got brain rots, though, because we got elemental pop, which is really good. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, okay, let's not go down. Christ. Well, if all our guns are going to be pack a punch from now on, then it's going to make it so much easier. But if we do get a melee weapon, it's not going to be too great. La Llorona? That's a cool name. 770. Wow, that's a lot of ammo. I think it's the MP5 or something. I don't know, actually. I've not got a blueprint for it, so I must not have used it too much. I like how everything is basically viable in Cold War, though. Some people aren't a fan of that, but I really, really like it because it just means the replay value is boosted. In Black Ops 3, like, as much as I love the game, it does get a little bit stale just having to run dead wire on basically any gun. Like, yes, you can argue, oh, everything's viable, but not actually shooting, it's the alternate ammo types that make everything viable. Oh god, I'm outside the zone. Ah! Okay, whew. Right, give me something decent for the elite. It's gonna be another sniper, isn't it? Nope. Okay, thank god. Well, it should be easier now we have Pap, so who's it gonna be? I think it's a Mangler again? Oh no, it's a Mimic. Hey, what's up, bro? Mimics annoy me, but they're not that difficult to deal with. Let's not go down. What's up, bro? Goodbye. Right, any perks? No perks. We've got intel, though. Okay, I'll take it. Got so many intel pieces we need to collect, but we got stamina up. That's huge, because Cold War stamina up is pretty damn broken. Look at how fast we run now. Yeah, it was just a fun little, like, side game mode. This isn't the only onslaught game mode either, because recently an update came out for Cold War that added in all of the older, like, onslaught modes and i think some of the main game modes as well except for like the events for christmas and halloween so i'm gonna go and play all of those as well at some point what gun is this is this the uzi i like it it's pretty solid it was like the only drops we're getting are um refilling our specialist meter which is interesting i haven't had like an insta kill right oh actually no we had that one insta kill but majority of them have been full meter taking a while to get the kills this time now like you can see on the orb power like on the left taking a lot longer to charge we're gonna camo let's go 
the MP10 or whatever it was called. I have Dark Matter or Dark Ether on this game, I guess it's called, but I didn't ever do the SMGs because I thought, you know, SMGs are kind of meh. And you can kind of just skip an entire category because there are like 10 total and you only need nine or eight and nine or something, which I do like a lot. Got, oh, we got a launcher. Ah, see, this is where it's going to get a little bit risky. I guess the best play is probably to train up a full horde and then shoot. Because explosives in this game are really good. But yeah, we don't have PhD. Ow, stop slapping me, dude. The Cold War zombies, like, they have some reach on them. If you run past one, you are almost certainly going to get hit. Right. One shot. Oh, okay, we killed quite a few. Oh, we got a sharpshooter badge as well. Let's go. And we leveled up again. Well, if we get a full horde again, we should just end this entire surge. Boom. Oh, yeah, there we go. Done. <laughs> They really didn't stand a chance there. Okay, well, at least we've got an open area for this elite surge. And we got... Oh, we got the China Lake. Okay, actually pretty good. In this game, the M79 is really, really, really strong. All right, Mangler, what's up, bro? Ow, okay, I've got to be careful because we take explosive damage, of course. Boom, and get rid of the armor. Ow, Oof. careful again. Ah, insta-kill, that should help. Bro, get destroyed. Yeah, you're gone. <laughs> oh, we got extra armor, which is good. Let's get this cruise missile because it's probably better. And we get Tombstone. Oh, of course it's Tombstone. The one perk that I was like, you know, it's the only useless one in this game. Even Deadshot got a huge buff in this where it just makes your headshot damage ridiculously high. Okay, here we go. Oh, it says rolling new weapon epic. So it's going to be epic rarity, I guess. Yeah, here we go. It's purple. And tier two pack a punch. We've got my favorite gun. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought <laughs> I thought this was the PP Bison. It's not. It's um some kind of SMG, though. I don't know what. Doing so much damage now. Oh, I know it is the PP Bison. I'm dumb. Yeah, it is. Because you see the little barrel. 10 kills rapidly 10 times. All right, we've got our ch camo challenges done. This is actually a really good way to level up all your guns, though, to play this game mode. Because if you haven't got, like, the Dark Ether camo and you need to level up a bunch of different weapons from classes, then this will probably be one of the fastest ways to do it without doing them individually yourself, like, one by one. Because, you know, you get to round, like, 30 with a gun and you can only level it up 10, 20 times, depending on if you have double XP, which is pretty ass, to be honest. Because, you know, that takes, like, about an hour to get there. I mean, if you have, um what's it called the thing that makes the zombies like spawn in faster rampage inducer i think then it can make it a bit easier like a bit faster to get through the rounds but even then doesn't really warrant the time for how little xp you get all right there we go done see these kind of game modes i really like because it's not like vanguard where you know you get a really crappy objective based game mode where it's like you only get three objectives total Oh, we get Napalm Burst as well. Nice. But yeah, this one's like, you can play on a variety of different maps. They're all from multiplayer, I believe, but it's a way of reusing assets to make it fun. Like, why can't we have this on other games, you know? Imagine if Black Ops 3 had this. You could just play on all the Black Ops 3 maps, but play zombies, basically. Like, that alone would add so much variety and replay value to Black Ops 3. I mean, obviously, you know, there's like 14 maps plus there's custom zombies, so there's a lot more than any other COD Zombies game, but it'd just make it the best game of all time, really. Yeah, this burst gun's doing pretty nice right now. It's taking us about like 30 to 40 kills now to actually progress. Seeing this like beach, I don't know if any of you watching have seen Fear the Walking Dead, but it kind of gives me that kind of vibe. I wonder if it was in Miami. I don't think it was, but... This just like beach looking place and then the boat because of course in season two they end up going on a boat. I don't know, just my brain linking different things together. All right, there we go. Done. Next surge is elite. So we should be getting another perk, which is good. And after that, we might end up getting tier three pack punched weapons. If not next time, and it'll be the one after. Rolling new weapon. Come on, give me something solid. Bryo for, oh my God, you give me a ballistic knife? Are you serious? Well, let's hope it's nothing too difficult then. Oh, the megaton. Oh my god, what? It like two shot him. Rip Bozo, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. One knife, two knife, one knife, two knife. Oh, two knife. There we go. Wow. And we got two max ammos. And we get a death perception. Eh, kind of meh. But oh, it'd be decent for salvage, but we're not playing a salvage game mode. Jesus, I forgot how broken the melee weapons and like things like the ballistic knife actually are. That's what's fun about Cold War though, man. It's just like everything is really strong. The ray gun, you know, actually feels useful compared to previous games. Hell, people were getting to round like 200. I think my highest round was round 200 on Cold War. So what was it like round 200? 10 i think it was because then i just got bored and quit it sucks that they have to like go through and nerf a bunch of weapons that's what zombies really doesn't need for cod 2024 i really hope 
This would like fix so many issues that Cold War had. It just not focusing so much on nerfing weapons. Like you're already playing versus AI, man. Why do we have to be nerfing weapons? It's not like the zombies are supposed to stand a chance, right? I mean, there's one of you and there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of zombies. So why should they be allowed to have a chance, man? Don't nerf the weapons. The ray gun should be broken because it's such an iconic, just amazing weapon. If you're going to leave it broken, instead of nerfing it, you know, you could just nerf the percent chance that you get out of the box, make it rarer. That'd be an easy fix for that. So yeah, hopefully COD 2024 does that. All right, next surge done. Cool that we just get to pick up ammo this easily. Like, you know, people say Cold War's easy, but at least getting to high rounds on Cold War is actually enjoyable. For the most part, anyway, you know, past like 200, is going to get really, really boring and like dull. I mean, you could argue past around 100, but at least you can use so many different things. Like the varieties there. Hell, a Semtex grenade will one shot a full horde. If you don't believe me, hey, look, I'll prove it right now. Let's get all these zombies together. Boom, watch this. Full horde of zombies, Semtex. But every single one gone. Like, and that's basically the same for, I think, every single round. And Semtexes are really easy to just go and buy from the salvage station thing, whatever it's called, armor station, uh, equipment station, I guess. But that's just a tiny little Semtex. Now, imagine if you have like an M79 or whatever. Yeah, I'm just trying to come up with topics to talk about just while we play, because, you know, it's not exactly the most riveting of gameplays. It's just kind of, you know, repeating the same surge moves around the map. We kill zombies, blah, blah, blah. But, hey, we made it to round 20, technically. Oh, we've got a camo as well. Let's go. Elite Surge is inbound. We got... Oh my god, we got a, a samurai sword katana. Samurai stand up! I mean, I'll take it. It's a really cool looking weapon. We'll throw a grenade. It did like no damage. Bye bye, buddy. Get knifed. Okay, yeah, that was really easy. <laughs> Oh, poor bro. Wait, we didn't get a perk. Oh, no, we did. We already picked it up. Deadshot. Nice. That'll be really useful. Oh, yeah, we should use some score streaks as well. We've not used any yet. It's cool, though, because it's the equivalent of hitting the mystery box every single round, basically. The EMC2. All right, I'll take it. Uh, this is like an assault rifle. Okay, let's use this cruise missile in a sec. I want to showcase it. Boom, we've got quite a lot of zombies to spawn it in. So you could just spawn in a cruise missile. Boom, boom, boom. And they're all gone. <laughs> well, we got uh, an achievement objective thingy. I don't know. Okay, cool. Probably one of my daily missions. I won't lie though, this gun isn't doing too much damage. I was kind of hoping we'd have tier three pap by now, but I guess not quite. Deadshot's helping though. So if we aim for the head, we're fine. Oh, an insta kill. Yeah, that's going to help a lot. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, that made it much easier. We got the MK14. All right. It should be a one shot, right? Yeah, it's basically a one shot, which is nice. If I can aim. <laughs> These surges are taking so long as well. The amount of zombies that it's spawning is pretty crazy. Look at all these guys. Ah, I'm almost coming down. I'm gonna have to use this. Oh god. Move out of my way! Uh, trying to train in such a tight area like this is not really ideal. Sort of Semtex, hopefully that will help. Yeah, there we go. Complete. <laughs> Just needed that firepower. Right, elite incoming. All this time we've done it without jug as well, which is crazy. The call. Oh, we got the axe. Okay, I'll take this. I mean, I love how it looks. Megaton. Bonk. Ow. Okay. I have to. Uh, it's a very slow swinging weapon, but it's very, very cool. Yep. Your split. You have a swing range on this. Isn't exactly the best, but it's not terrible. Got max ammo. You're gone. Knife. Yeah, basically two hits and they're gone. <laughs> and we got. Uh, tier 3 armor and a new perk. Jug, finally. No PhD yet. Okay, hey, there we go. Rolling the weapon legendary, which means we should get tier 3 pap and gold weapons. Yep. Die breaker. This camo looks so nice. Look at this, like the pink camo. Let's see how much damage this actually does because, you know, it should do a lot more than previously. It's fully upgraded, so this is the most damage it'll ever do. And... Oh yeah, see, just look at the difference this makes. Thank God we haven't got like a melee weapon on one of these regular rounds because it would have been pretty damn difficult to do. I guess we could just use, you know, a Semtex or whatever, but right. Deadshot Daiquiri. Every single zombie gone. <laughs> Another level up, let's go. I put on a little bit of double XP just so, you know, while we're playing, we can actually uh, level up a bit. The OTS-9, oh, this is a new weapon. I was gonna say, I've never used this before. Got a camo for it? Cool. That's another thing that was really good. Like, when they added DLC weapons into the zombies maps or whatever, or into the game, 
you could actually earn them for free and you could put camos on and get like dark ether and stuff on them as well like camo challenges plus you know adding attachments and stuff whereas in black ops 3 when they added like the rpk and things like that into all the games you could never use weapon kits on them which sucked like just a subtle change like that would have been so much better but oh well we got the hangman okay the most broken weapon in all of cold war zombies gotta love this bad boy the Gallo just absolutely one-shots everything. People said the Howl was like the most broken. I always preferred the Gallo because it was fully auto. I guess it was down to preference, but you know, this is always my preference anyway. They're very, very similar regardless. Now, I have to get a challenge for killing with C4s. So let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, what? Shatter Blast just propped from throwing a C4? I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> well, never mind then. No C4 kills for me. Sit in the back with insta-kill. Just no problem at all. Oh god, I'm actually stuck. Ah! Not me getting stuck and almost downing on insta-kill rounds. It couldn't be me. What are we getting this time, huh? What are you going to give me? The Kool-Aid. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's like the Amelie. Pretty cool. LMG. This is the first LMG we've had this game, actually. <laughs> Yeah, Elite Surge, by the way. Very scary, very uh, hard to deal with. We've got PhD now. I think that's all the perks, right? Except for Mule Kick. Yeah, look at how cool PhD is. We just drop down from here. Boom, little explosion. Little tiny nuke. I love how far you can slide with PhD. It's so fucking ridiculous. Like, look at this. Like, whoop. Just all the way across the map, it's fine. And you leave a little purple trail behind you, which is cool. And when you slide into the zombies, it will actually make an explosion. And it does like infinite damage, I believe. It's just a really risky way to play. We got a sniper. Oh god, during one of these rounds? Oh no. Well, slide! <laughs> okay, that was decent. But yeah, as you can see, we. Okay, I need to angle it better. I want to try and slide into them, but they're so fast. Okay, here we go. Slide! Boom. Oh my god, yeah, we just killed like most of them. Oh, this sniper's not too great. Well, you know, let's just use the flamethrower, to be honest. Boom. It's an insta-kill, but oh well, who cares? Like, uh, the fact they brought the flamethrower back as well, I, mean, I really, really appreciate because the flamethrower in World of War is probably my favorite gun in the entire game. Like, the fact it hadn't been introduced again since, like, it wasn't added in Zombies Chronicles, you know, they put the Annihilator in the specialist slot when they could have added the flamethrower back from multiplayer, literally just put the purifier in there. It'd be so simple to do, but they just didn't do it. Like, something as simple as that would have been such a good change. Oh my god. Oh, I almost went down. <laughs> Just kamikaze a little bit there. All right, what are we getting this time? Oh, the head cannon. Another, oh, another sniper. Are you serious, man? I don't even have a flamethrower this time. This is going to be... Oh, it's so slow firing too. What is this? What is that time delay? Oh my god. This isn't good because we don't have any Semtexes either. Boom. Oh my god, it kills one zombie at a time. Okay, three. Oh, we're going to be here for a while. I think the collapse will be a bit better, but no... Yeah, at least they're all lining up together right now. Bonk. Ow, ow. What the hell? I was still in Ether Shroud. If I could just get like an explosive weapon or like a uh, Semtex or something on the ground, that would be great. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? I've got PhD. Slide. Yep, there we go. Boom. Get all of them. Oh, that didn't work. <gasps> See, that's what I mean. PhD slider is so risky to do things like that, but it is fun. Masochistic way to play zombies. Oh, these stupid playgrounds are jumping around so much, I can't hit them. Oh, we've got a grenade. Let's go. Just one singular frag grenade. Hopefully that kills a few. Yeah, there we go. We got Semtex. There we go. This should get the whole thing done now, right? All of you together. Ah, okay. Ether Shroud it is. Okay, Semtex. Bye-bye, all of you. <laughs> yeah. Easy as pie. Oh, we got monkeys. Nice, let's pick those up. Monkeys are great in this game because they kill the whole horde. They just explode and kill everything. But then they also count in your tactical slot. Finally, an assault rifle. Okay, what's it going to be? Megaton? All right, buddy. Split already? Yeah, you just... You're, you're destroyed, man. Oh, God. These guys are tanky, though. All right, there we go. Finally. Oh, we got some achievement with my sights. Cool. Right, done. We've got the war machine. More armor. Finally, we got our mule kick. We've got the death machine as well. Honestly... We have PhD. I kind of prefer the war machine. Oh god, I got a sniper. Let's go. My favorite. Well, I think that's going to basically wrap it up for this video. I'll just use the war machine a little bit to uh, to end it off. <laughs> this absolute chaos weapon. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Gun game in Cold War Zombies. Very cool game mode. I highly suggest if you have Cold War to give this game mode a try. It's called Mystery Munitions. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video very soon. Um, let's throw a monkey. Come on. 
Get them all lined up. Watch. Every single one of these zombies is about to get destroyed. Kaboom. <laughs> It's just so funny to watch them just not stand a chance against explosives in this game. All right, I'll end this surge then just because we're basically there already. Like, look, one Semtex and it's done, basically. Yeah, boom. There we go. So, yeah, thank you for watching.